I'm Jesse Lux and I'm here with C. Jane Du at the Wild and Scenic Environmental Film Festival. We're interviewing Heather Hudson of The Women and the Waves, the first time filmmaker and it's an incredible story about a group of women and surfing. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Sure. Um, well, I am a surfer 30 years and I it was just something that I needed to do. I was kind of on a mission to make this because women have always surfed and um, we tend to get overlooked because the numbers were so small years ago and now it's gotten so popular and what I've noticed is in the last five years, ten years, so many women are surfing and you know I used to go for weeks back in the late 70s when I first started um, you'd never see another woman in the water or you knew a few but you rarely surfed at the same time so you're out there with all the men and, uh, and guys and uh, it's changed so much. The dynamic has changed. So I really wanted to just document, you know, what that's like, what it's been like to be a woman in the water. So. What was your initial draw to surfing? Well, um, our family moved to Malibu when I was a teenager and I went down to the beach and was watching the surfing. I was sitting on the beach putting my sun tan lotion on with the other girls and uh, I was watching the surfers and I thought, I can do that. And I was like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going out there. So I was hooked the minute I started. So. There's a there's a part in the movie that I really love about um, they're talking about how surfing it should is such a natural feminine thing because mm -hmm. it's like a dance on the wave. Yeah, I love that line. That's a, a mother of a big wave rider. She we interviewed family and friends around each woman. Um, and she says surfing's a dance. And also it's not, and I love this line, it's not brute strength against yes, the wave. Exactly. Um, you know, all it's a it's a dynamic that happens out there. And you're all competing for the same I always look at it like the holy grail. Everybody's looking for that wave and you're competing with men. Yeah. And the more aggressive people are gonna get it if it's real crowded. Right. So that's you know kinda how it's been. But uh anyway. The stories so. of these women are so incredible. How did you find them? Well, um, one of my main goals was to find women not necessarily uh, well known in the surfing world. You know, there's a small group of well known people, but in every community, there's so many amazing women that have surfed all along. And they don't necessarily fit that image of what's going to sell a surf product. And we tend to see the same women over and over again. So I just really wanted to show on an everyday level that women surf and we see each other every day and these are who they are and each one might represent something in people that watch it, whether they're a surfer or not. Was there one woman's story that you found really compelling? Well, each one is really unique and we kind of uh, just wanted to show, I mean, our my first, the first one that uh, we chose that I wanted to start with was Linda Benson. Exactly. And she's uh, in her 60s, she's world champion many times over and she's been there from the start and she was the first woman to surf Waimea Bay mm -hmm. and she was 15 when she did that, <laughs> which is incredible. So, and she's such a neat lady, she just um, has been a real cheerleader for women all along. She's um, heads up a lot of contests and is always out there promoting women surfing and uh, she's a great lady so I just I was real nervous I didn't know her and I was like oh my gosh who are we gonna get first and uh, I called up Linda and had some number names and numbers and uh, she said yes so we started with her and then just worked our way down through the ages. So the women across the board are just so vibrant in like they personality are. and in health. I definitely do you think they attribute a lot of that to surfing and Oh yeah. I mean uh, surfing just adds this energy to I know for myself, um, so vibrant and you know, everybody finds they surf because they it, heals them mm -hmm. or they're finding something inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So each one of them I know carries that with them. So what did you learn about yourself making this film? Oh my gosh, I've never done it. 
my co-producer, uh, this is his fourth independent film and third surfing related film, but I really had no idea what I was getting myself into because I executive produced and it was just Peck, Peck Ewer um, is my co-producer and yeah, it, you know, organizing, doing everything, it's, it's been quite an interesting experience, but great, mm -hmm. really fun. Do you think you're going to make another film? You know, I might. Um, yeah, I probably will, but I really have to feel strongly about what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And um, I, if it's going to happen, it, it'll happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have a family and teenage sons right now, so, oh, wow. and this has been a process. I mean, this has been, gosh, it's been four years mm -hmm. since we started. Um, <laughs> that's a credible process of going through and learning filmmaking 101 basically on your own. Did you have any mentors to help you or kind of walk you through that process? Well, I would say Peck was uh -huh. the one I was calling back and forth. Um, you know, he's a cameraman, uh, he's done sound, he's done edit, and he's an ama he was a great editor. And I had seen his other films, he's a friend, our kids uh, go to the, went to the same school. And a film that he did, actually I was in, that's how I, this thing started, was um, it's called The Craving, and it was about surf addiction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was the only woman in that film. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I saw that film and I thought, oh my gosh, what a way to mm -hmm. express something. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to tell more of the uh, story from the women's perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mostly we hear about it from the men's perspective. Absolutely. So. And it was great to hear from the guys as well, mm -hmm. talking about how they like to see more women out there and then it makes it a more enjoyable experience surfing. Yeah, well, it's men, there's all different reactions and over the 30 years that I've surfed, you've seen, you see so many different types of people and you get different reactions. And so, um, most guys are really supportive, but there's, you know, when it gets crowded, there's obviously people that don't want you out there. But that's also based on ability, yeah, not necessarily yeah, yeah. Uh, being a woman. Well, you know, it's, it's a safety thing, too, yeah. if you've got a novice. So. Yeah, that's right, whether it's a man or a woman. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So is this the first film festival you've taken the film to? Um, no, it's not. Um, we actually premiered uh, a year ago uh -huh. at the Santa Barbara International Film uh -huh. Festival. And what was the response? Awesome. Uh -huh. I, and it was great, yeah. That's where the other film, um, the we're craving? from Santa Barbara, uh -huh. so The Craving had premiered there as well and Peck's other movies had premiered there. But um, no, we've been around the country and we, we screened in Maui. Oh, fun. Yeah, Great that was audience. in June. We've done about 10 um, festivals. It's really fun uh -huh. to come and see all these different places. We did the New York Surf Film Festival. Oh, wow. And that was really fun. A lot of people don't know that there's great surfing in New York. There is. I've never surfed there, but uh, yeah, they're pretty hardcore, especially in the wintertime because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cold out yeah, there. Yeah, with suits and everything. Yeah. 